On the left hand side we have sin theta and cos theta raised to the power of 8. 8 can be written as 4 square. So if we apply a square minus b square here, assuming a equal to sin theta raised to power of 4 and b equal to cos theta raised to power of 4, we will get the expanded version. Again we can apply a square minus b square formula in the first term assuming a equal to sin square theta and b equal to cos square theta. Here we see that the middle term sin square theta plus cos square theta will become 1 and the last term will become a perfect square if we add 2 sin square theta cos square theta. So we add and subtract the terms 2 sin square theta cos square theta in the last term and make a perfect square. Again here we see that uh, there is a sin square theta plus cos square theta which can become 1. Then we will be left with the answer same as right hand side.